Hi, this is JJ. Thank you for joining me on the Pure Living Show. I am sitting here on a beautiful sunny day with David Tyrrell, who has created some of the most wonderful aura mists. Welcome. Uh, thank you, To JJ. the Pure Living Show. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Excellent. So now tell me, tell me a little bit about these wonderful aura mists. Now I've tried one, I've tried the Inner Peace Aura Mist, and I have to say it really does help calm you down and reduce people's anxiety. It reduces that anxiety quite substantially. Tell me about those mists. What are they? What do they do? How did you get to make them? Everything about them. <laughs> That's a big story in a, a short time. It is. Um, uh, basically, room and aura mists are a combination of different aromatherapy oils. And we know aromatherapy oils can help your well-being and support your well-being in many different ways. But these uh, particular combinations seem to have an enhanced energy and a working relationship together for different themes. As you know, there's about 26 in the range uh, just at the moment. Um, They are a combination of different essential oils. They are in also in spring water from the Persia Hills. And uh, each one has a different theme or intention that goes in with them. And when you say each one has a different theme or intention, where does that come from and how do you set that intention? Uh, Well, it goes back to... I suppose, how they first come through to me, how I got the inspiration. I do a lot of uh, meditation and uh, personal uh, quietness. And uh, during these periods, uh, during one particular period of this meditation, I just felt that I was getting the inspiration and the word to say, you're going to make some room and aura mists. I thought, okay, I know a little bit about aromatherapy, but I'm not trained or, you know, uh, have a great knowledge. But they just started bringing through these different, um, uh, say, combination of oils and the energy of each one to be put into them. So uh, when they are made up, they get water blessings because we know Water carries so much pure messages. It can uh, carry so much intention in water. So they are blessed with the highest vibration that we know um, to put that vibration in. And then when they're fully made up, each one has a particular... I connect into a particular energy and I bring that intention through to also uh, carry in the or room and aura mist. Now, just to explain a little bit more about this water and intention thing, um, it's a, it was a Japanese researcher, Dr. Dr. Emoto, yeah, who discovered that if you bombard water with certain um, emotions, so energetic frequencies, that changes the structure of the water and it carries through. Yeah, there's a lot you can see. He took a lot of um, photographs and he'd done a lot of work under an electromag- uh, electromagnetic uh, microscope and he saw by um, putting positive emotions towards the water, the crystals turned into like snowflakes and carried that message from one droplet of water to another where when you put negative emotions in, the um, droplets or the crystals of water were going brown and really quite cloggy in their way. And that passed on. So it's really important that, you know, that water carries the vibration. And we are so much water as well. Yeah, yeah we're, we're almost completely water, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, so I it think about seventy-three percent. Yeah. So, so, so it, it's actually quite important that that we respect this thing about energy and water and what intention is. Absolutely, it's so important. Even your drinking water, just to thank it, you know, before you drink it or you use it for cooking your food, um, it, the more goodness you can put into, or more positiveness you can put into that water, the more positiveness you're putting into yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah, and so you've got 26? There's currently 26 with another two coming out in later this year. Great. And what are the kinds of things? I've talked already about the Inner Peace uh, spray, which I know has worked very well uh, in certain circumstances. What other ones have you got? Um, to highlight a few, there's one um, for divine healing. And that's been used very much with people that are therapists, light workers, and they use that before and after uh, an energetic healing. And sometimes also if they're counseling as well, um, they've used that in the room and it's really enhanced the vibration and the healing energy for both them and the client. Uh, there's loss. And we have loss in so many different ways. We lose a partnership. We lose somebody physically. May We may lose our home and have to move. And those are all losses. And this, uh, so that particular one loss can come in and help support that transition. Uh, change of life has been developed specifically for um, the menopausal. Uh, so that go menopausal stage of life and that really goes in to support that well-being and support your energy and there's another one that's been used with children to great effect yes that one is called at ease and uh, that's been used in mindfulness for children with some fantastic results and it's for children that are perhaps um, say they find it difficult to fit in to our systems here their energy is so sensitive they're so high vibrational children it really helps to ground them to ground their energy to hold them together uh, helps their sleep pattern and it also ha helps them to focus a little bit more so that's been uh, a wonderful um, addition to some mindfulness classes for children I was just going to say, it's not just you saying this, it has actually been tried out. Hasn't yeah, it? a lot of this has taken me by surprise because the feedback I'm getting from them um, is their proof, I suppose, of what they're doing. But the children are now asking for the mist to be sprayed before they start their mindfulness class, which is absolutely wonderful. You yeah, know? that's fantastic, isn't it? And so then if somebody's thinking, well, maybe I should get a, a, a bottle of Aura Mist, how do they go about choosing what is going to be right for them? Well, because there's so many in the collection and say there's two more coming out, one's Inner Child and the other one's Soul's Path, um, which gets coming out soon. Um, if you go onto the website, uh, I've got an online shop onto the website. If you go onto my website... You can go through and see what one jumps out of you instinctively. However, if you need a little bit of guidance and advice on what's best, please send me an email and we can see from what you're needing to what is the best mist uh, for your particular issues. That's great. And then how do you use them? Uh, to use them, you just need to quieten yourself and just sit for a moment. Gently shake the bottle a couple of times before usage. Spray once or twice above you. That's all you need. At most, maximum two sprays. And just let them settle. And you will get the aroma first. And then you will get the energetic change of vibration and support. So it's really good to give it about a minute to sit in its aroma and its vibration because then you really feel what it's doing for you. And you breathe in? Just breathe in normally, just sit quietly and just embrace the vibrational or the energetic changes that you're feeling along with the aromas as well. Is that always necessary? Would they work if you just sprayed them and didn't do that? Absolutely. They will still... Um, they will still do their job, but sometimes it's really nice to feel it mm -hmm. and get that little bit of anchored support as well. Um, and you can just spray them in your room. Um, there's some from the uh, planetary range, uh, which is also another range in there. 
and uh, people have sp um, sprayed mercury in their room when they're having difficulty with um, communication in the family. And I know one person just sprayed it in the room without telling them before the family came, before they had their visitors. And the conversations and communications just went with so much ease at night. But nobody knew, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that was just setting the energy. And that was mercury. Fantastic. Was and then just to be double clear that is not the poisonous liquid metal that is referring to the planet <laughs> the planet mercury. yes <laughs> you're Sorry. not spraying i'm not spraying mercury no. <laughs> around the house <laughs> just to make sure that nobody's you know getting any crossed yeah. wires here so that is interesting isn't it so even if you're not conscious of what is being sprayed in the room you will still feel the benefit absolutely because it's changing and resetting that energy um they're little bottles of magic really in yeah. a way and some of them give you a hug but you don't have to be aware particularly of them being in the room it will change and support you didn't somebody once call them a hug in a bottle yes yes they did <laughs> And that's the way it feels, and that that's the uh, that was the loss one as well. You know, you oh, that's that lovely. really just comes in. It's more of a subtle energy. You don't feel it quite straight away as you do the others. You give it a little bit longer, and it just comes around, and gives you a warm hug around the heart. It's re really quite amazing what aromatherapy oils and intention can do. It is amazing. It is, and so where do we get them? There's a link here for anybody who wants to. Um, have a look at David's website, but it is just for anybody who's impatient. Um, you can go onto my website, which is www.davidtyrrell.com, and that's T Y R R E L L dot com. And there's an online shop there uh, with all the mists and everything and their combination of oils that's in them that's, that's great so there. yeah so the ingredients are there as well yeah not the pacific recipe yeah um as such or the pacific blend but the the three oils or four oils that are in the mists uh, they're all listed for you as well and do you use organic oils or are they just you know you, you get them from a source which is they quite are pure? pure essential oils yeah where we get them from yeah they're the highest um or highest vibrational oils that we can afford should yeah. we say um that go into them and it's also the Perthshire Hills distilled water as well that's in there so distilled water which yeah. is important as well yeah it's a it's a distilled Perthshire Hills water so natural spring water that's been distilled yes fantastic and so it is um a pure product as far as possible it's as pure as it can be yes absolutely and of course, the other lovely thing about them is they're in glass bottles. Yes, um, everybody's commented on that, which I'm really <laughs> pleased about. I'm do, trying to do our bit for the planet where I can. And that, of course, also means that you don't get any residual from the plastic or anything like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's best to use the glass for this. Yeah. For the, for the aura mist, you get, the I suppose, the purest vibration out of it that you can. Yeah. And so just to recap, then you've got a whole range of them. You've got a couple more coming out, but it is very much um, the, the purest product possible with the purest intention possible. And that combination, I think, seems to be very strong. Yeah, I think it's it's the way I've been guided to do it, uh, the inspired way of to do it. Each bottle, when it's made up, has, gets invoked individually. So this is not a quick process, can I say, for these. Right. It takes its time and, uh, yeah, each individual receives its uh, individual water blessings and its individual intention blessings as well or invocations so it's not like you make a whole batch and then just pour them into bottles and that's it no each bottle will go through its own individual blessing uh, and intention ritual so it's very special in that sense yes it's um there's not let's say it's not a conveyor belt of uh production mm. this is very individually individually handmade well, this is beautiful, isn't it? Though that's that's just beautiful. So you know that when you buy a bottle of of your aura mists, you're getting something which has been very carefully produced. Yes, it has to take its time. We can't rush, you know. And if stock does run out, 